Hi guys, good evening. Welcome to the class, good to have you here. Hi Hazel, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Glad to hear that. Did you work today? Uh, very good, thanks. Was good, ah, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Hello, Anna, hi Lisette, Wendy, Fatima. Good to have you here. So we will start the class with one activity. I don't know if you are familiar with the game Hangman. That is the name of this, of this activity. It's called Hangman. Uh, we call it in Spanish ahorcado. So maybe you have listened to, to that in the past. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. So we will try to do that. It will be a, an English word and you have to discover it. Let me just put it here. Um, one second. So it will be. Okay, there it is. It has two, four, six, eight, nine, no, then 12, 12 letters. The idea is that you tell me one letter of the alphabet and that you discover the secret word, okay? La idea es que me digan una verdad, una letra del alfabeto y que descubran la palabra que está escondida, okay? Discover the, the secret word. We will start with Lisette. Okay, Lisette, can you tell me a letter of the alphabet? M? M, as in mom. Yes. Okay. No, Lisette, it's not part of the word. Thank you. Now let's try with Amanda. One letter, Amanda. Are you available, Amanda? No. Anna? Uh, uh, the little P? P, uh, uh -huh. P as in party. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We have that one two times. Okay, good job, Anna. Thank you. Are you there, uh, Amanda? Yes, um, A. 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 Okay, yes, we have it here. Okay, there it is. Thank you, Amanda. Now let's listen to Angelica. Please tell me one letter, Angelica. Mm, e. E. No, no, it's not part of the word. Thank you, Angelica. Let's see, Eric, one letter, please. Um, S. S. No, no, S. Yes. Okay, is, is going to die very soon. Okay, Eric, thank you. Let's try with Hazel. R. R, yes, we have one here and one here. Thank you, Hazel, there it is. Monica, do you want to try? Or do you guys know? O no sé si alguien ya tiene una idea. Uh, yes, Monica. Letter O. Letter O. Yes. Thank you, Monica. Marlon, can you help us? Which? Hello. Which? Hi. Hi, Marlon. Welcome. Can you tell us Thank one you. letter of the alphabet? D. E. Yes, that one is here too. Thank you, Marlon. Uh, Wendy? Uh, 
letter S? S. No, it's not. It's not in that word. Okay, Wendy, thank you. Vane Ramirez, one, one letter, please. And number nine, and N. N, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. N, letter N. It's going to be here. Okay, thank you. Is there anybody, does anybody know? No sé si hay alguien que ya adivinó la palabra. Preparation. Preparation. Uh -huh. Thank you, that's the one. Okay, guys. Well, good to see you here. Mm -hmm. We will continue with the class in, in this moment. And we will talk about how much and how many, okay? And some words that you can use to talk about count nouns and non-count nouns. Vamos a trabajar con how many and how much y palabras que pueden utilizar con, con contables y no contables. So let's begin. Okay. Give me one second. So we have how many and how much. Okay, how many and how much. Okay, Lisette. Do you know the difference between one and the other? ¿Sabe la diferencia entre uno y el otro? How many and how much? Do you remember something about it, eh, Lisette? Uh, I'm not sure. No. Okay, that's, that's fine, Lisette. We will check that. We use how many and how much? to ask questions about quantity, okay? Preguntas sobre cantidades, quantity, number, or amount of something. For example, I have many friends. I have many friends. She likes um, many things. If you want to make a question about quantity, we can use how many or how much. One point, how many is for count, count nouns. How many is used with count nouns and how much with non, non-count nouns. Okay, so that's the difference between one and the other. They are the same, son lo mismo, pero depende de su noun. Vamos con how many or how much. Okay, for example, I have many friends. Question, how many Friends, do you have? And question mark. How many friends do you have? I have many friends. I have one friend. I have five friends. Questions about quantity. She likes many things. Questions, things. It's countable. How many things does she like? How many things does she like? Answer, she likes many things. She likes two things. She likes three things, okay? We ask questions about the amount, okay? Just to make sure, vamos a utilizar how many and how much cuando queremos hacer una pregunta que nos dé una respuesta sobre cantidades. How many es con count nouns. Si se puede contar el noun, vamos con how many. Así como acá, how many friends podemos contarlos. Or things, we can count them, okay? Y ya está la respuesta, ¿verdad? 
Ahora, si es non count noun, vamos con how much. Ok, look at the steak. Voy a poner unas oraciones primero. There is a lot of violence in my city. There is a lot of violence in my city. Next one. I don't have I don't have any coffee. Okay. Here you have the nouns. ¿Qué están los nouns? Violence and coffee. Non count nouns, ¿verdad? No los podemos contar. Question. How much violence is there in your city? How much violence is there? There is a lot of violence. A lot. Of, and then you mention. Or, I don't have any coffee. How much coffee do you have? How much coffee do you have? I don't have any coffee, no coffee. There is no coffee at all. There isn't coffee, okay? So questions about Amounts, ok, pregunta para saber el número, la cantidad. How many and how much? Do you understand, guys? Do you have a question in this moment? Do you want to ask a question? No, no questions. Ok, I'm going to ask you questions. Let's begin with Kelia. Hi, Kelia. Question, how many cars do you have? How many cars do you have? I have one car. One car, Good. okay, thank you, Kelia. Let's continue with Tati. How many people do you know? How many people do you know, Tati? Oh, hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. ¿Cuántas personas conozco? Yes. Sería. Para Trescientas. Muchas. Como ah, oh, en muchas. el área de compras, entonces uh -huh. conozco un montón, teacher. ¿no? Ah, ok. No hay número, right? You uh -huh. don't have the exact number. You can say a lot. A, a lot. lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Tati. Good job. Lisette, how much water do you drink every day? How much water do you drink every day, Lisette? I drink. Mm -hmm. Three liters of water. Mm -hmm. water. Okay. Thank you. By the way, just one comment. Sometimes, okay, water is non countable, right? El agua habíamos dicho que no se puede contar. Voy a usar how much. Like this, how much water do you drink? Okay. But if you want to, si ustedes quieren, pueden usar una unidad de medida al preguntar o al contestar. I can say, I drink eight glasses of water every day, for example. Okay. Y lo puedo poner así. I drink eight glasses of water. 
o puedo preguntar sobre los vasos. How many glasses of water do you drink every day? Okay. That could be more specific. Podrían hacerlo así, but if you use a unit of measure, you have to use how many. Si ustedes ya colocan una unidad de medida, hay que usar how many, porque si sí podemos contar tazas, si sí podemos contar botellas, piezas. Entonces ahí, pues, si sí van a usar how many. Ok. Can you make one question, please? Create one question. Hmm. Using how many or how much? And you can send it in the chat. I'm going to read it. And then you are going to ask one of your classmates. Por favor, creen una pregunta con how much or how many. La envían en el chat. Y luego vamos a, a preguntar. So we're going to ask around. Vamos a preguntarnos un poquito. I will give you a moment. And you can send them by chat, okay? And if you have a question, you can ask. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Lisette. Correct. How much bread do you eat? Correct. Kelia, Amanda, perfect. Wendy, how many cups? Wendy, cups of coffee. How many houses? Uh -huh. How much free time? How many people are there? Uh -huh. How much beer? How much beer? Uh, do you have or do you drink? Okay, all right, sounds good. So let's begin. We will start with Lisette. Lisette, ask your question to one of your classmates. Any person, okay? Any, anyone. Choose, choose the person. Angelica. Angélica, uh -huh. sí. go ahead, ask two times, la, la hace dos veces, Lisa, para que escuche bien Angélica. Okay, how much money do you have? One more time. How much, mm -hmm. how much money do you have? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> Ah, okay. Everyone <laughs> in the class, Angelica, we have the same problem. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Lisa, hey, Angelica, it's your turn. Ask your question to one of your classmates. Okay. Um, do... Hazel. Okay. Two times, okay? Dos veces, two times. Okay, uh, how much free time do you have after work? How much free time do you have after work? I have four hours free after work. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Angelica, and good answer, Hazel. You continue, Hazel. Choose one participant, one of your classmates. Okay, Amanda Menendez. Okay. Hello. Hello, Amanda. How many pets do you have? One more um, time. How many I, pets do you have? Thank you. I have one pet. I have a dog. One dog. Uh -huh. Thank you, Hazel and Amanda. Continue, Amanda. Mm. 
Let me see. Uh -huh. eh, Fátima Estrada. Fátima is not available. Next, mm, another, yeah. another t uh, person, please. Mónica Escobar. Mónica, ajá. Mónica, how much traffic uh, there is in your city? Is there, is there in is, your city? Mm -hmm. One more time, Amanda, please. How much traffic is there in your city? Yes. Monica, hello. Are you there, Monica? Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody else? Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Mar Barrientos? Marlon. Okay, Marlon, are you there, Marlon? Hello. Ah, okay. Repeat, Amanda, please. How much traffic there is in your city? How much traffic is there in your city, mm -hmm. Marlon? Oh, uh, in my city, we don't have traffic. <laughs> ah, no congratulations. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Marlon, continue, please. Um, okay. To Vanessa Ramirez. Okay. How okay. many, how many cousins do you have? Repeat, please. How many co cousins do you have? I have two cousins. Two cousins. Thank you, yeah. Marlon. And Bane, Bane, it's your turn. Please continue. Okay. Um, let me see. Lisette Castillo. For Lisette. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lisette Castillo, uh, how, how much, uh, teacher, how do you say gaseosa or soda? Soda. Soda. Uh -huh. how, uh, how much soda do you drink? I drink any soda. I don't drink? Any soda. Any soda. Thank you, Lisette. All right. And thank you, Vane. Let's see, okay. Anna. Can you continue, Anna? Choose one of your classmates and repeat your question twice. Okay, teacher. Uh, I don't know. You have Wendy Eric. Uh -huh, Wendy. Hazel. Uh, Wendy Lopez. Wendy, okay. So, how many houses do you have? How many houses do you have? I have one house. Only one. That's Only enough, one. right? That's sufficient. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Anna and Wendy. Eric, can you continue, Eric, please? Eh, aquí me pregunto, teacher. Eh, you can choose. Usted escoge, Eric. You can choose. You have eh, Angélica, Marlon, Mónica, Tati, eh, Anne, Ramírez. Mónica. Mónica. Ok. Are you there, Mónica? No sé si ya estar ahí. Mónica, do you hear us? No. Or maybe Tati, are you there, Tati? Hi, teacher. Ah, okay. So ask, uh -huh. okay, ask Tati, Eric, please. Okay. Yes. How many TV do you have? Mm -hmm. How many TV do you have? Oh. O más fácil, how many cell phones do you have? Mm -hmm. so I have, I, I have two, 
two, two cell phones. Why two, Are Tati? In Why do you have two, two cell phones? Ah, okay. Maybe you can say that Por you have a... It's better, right? You separate business uh, or work from, from your personal life. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tati, thank you. <laughs> Guys, do you have questions for me? No sé si hay algo que deseen preguntar. Questions? No? No questions. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry, Eric. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the words you see here. We have a lot, many, much, some, some again, few, little, no, or any. We will talk about those words. Les voy a explicar cómo funcionan esas palabras. Okay, so here you have like a, like a chart and I separated them, okay? Los que aparecen en este lado, Count nouns son los que pueden usar con contables, ¿ok? The ones that you see here son porque los podemos usar con count nouns y no los podemos usar con non-count nouns. Algunos se pueden con los dos. Non-count nouns, tenemos a lot. A lot is neutral, es neutral. Lo podemos usar con cualquiera. Many for count nouns, with many. And match es la misma versión pero es para los non-count nouns. Some, it's like 65, 60%, y aquí les puse el porcentaje para que se hagan una idea de qué significa, ¿verdad? Some es como 60%. You can use them with count nouns and non-count nouns. Few, okay, it's like 25%. Okay, few. Few is for count nouns. Y la versión para non-count nouns es little, little. And then we have no or any, that is when you have zero, nada. Okay, podemos usar no or any. Examples, I will give you examples. A lot. I have a lot of phone numbers. Phone numbers. Okay, I have a lot of phone numbers. Option two, I have many, many phone numbers because I can count phone numbers. Los podemos contar. Puedo ocupar a lot. I can use a lot or many. Okay, if you cannot count it, si no lo podemos contar, entonces vamos con match. Usually, usualmente match se utiliza de manera negativa. Cuando es afirmativa la oración, procuren utilizar a lot. Es el más común. Es más raro utilizar match in the affirmative form. I, or let's say she, didn't have much time. Much time. Okay much and then time non count now some okay there are some apples on the kitchen okay some and you can see the noun aquí pueden ver el noun primero utilizo el quantifier y luego va el noun apples in this case None count nouns I have to use. I can use some too. There is some, um, some coffee or sugar. Let's use sugar on the shelf, on the shelf. Okay, again, I use some. Okay, few, remember it's like, like little, it's the same few, but that's the one for 
countable nouns. They have few, few friends, few friends, okay? Few friends. And now we have little, that is the version that we use for noun, non-count nouns. In this moment, we have little time, little time, okay? Do you have comments in this moment for me? No sé si alguien quiere hacer algún comment in this moment. Yeah. Yes, Tati. Yeah. Have much, have much, but it's negative. You can use it in affirmative sentences. Lo puede usar in affirmative sentence, sentences, pero es muy poco utilizado. Muy poco es utilizado. A lot. Ajá. Es más utilizado en negativo y si es afirmativo, entonces a lot. Ese es el que más se ocupa. A lot. Y estas son oh. unas opciones. Hay más. Está también several. Está a bunch, a ton. Hay más opciones para decir mucho. But these are the most common ones. Ahorita, como son muchas, les estoy dando las más populares. The most popular ones. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank okay. You. A pleasure. Hazel, did you have a comment? Sí, yo no he entendido la parte eh, en que veo que a lot está en ambos. En count now. Noun, count, noun. Ah, ah, ok. Es porque lo puede utilizar con ambos. Lo puede usar con count nouns y con non-count nouns, porque hay algunos que no se pueden utilizar con ambos. Nouns, como few. Few ah, solo está okay. en este lado porque solo es para count nouns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is why. Okay. All right. So let's talk about no and any. Remember, they mean Zero. Si ustedes lo utilizan, es solo para dar énfasis que no hay nada, que tienen cero. Eso es lo que estamos diciendo. For example, and I want you to compare. Quiero que observen cómo funcionan. She has no money. She has no money. Zero, that is what I'm saying. Zero money. She has no money. It sounds ironic because you, you have to use an affirmative sentence. They have no time. And I'm saying zero time. That is what I'm saying, no time. Um, my family, uh, my family, let's, let me think about another verb, my family, my family needed hold on, I'm thinking about one sentence. Ah, okay, let me change it. My family wanted no help. My family wanted no help, okay? Cuando utilicen no, va a sonar opuesto si lo tratan de traducir, va a sonar raro, okay? Porque va a ser una oración afirmativa y luego van a, pon van a negarlo. I need, no, love, <laughs> or I want, no, silence. Entonces van a, a negarlo después de, de, hacer, de haberlo antes, no, después de haberlo hecho negativo, like this. Y está any, ahora vamos a usar any con lo mismo. She has no money. Si quieren usar any, iría así. She doesn't 
have any money. She doesn't have any money, okay? In negative sentences, okay? Any va in, in oraciones negativas. Next one, they have no time. They don't have time. I'm sorry, any time, okay? They don't have any time in negative, right? Next one, my family wanted no help. My family didn't want help. Didn't want help, okay? A negative sentence. And sorry, I skipped. Didn't want any help, okay? So that's the way we use any and no. The same thing, they have the same meaning, tienen el mismo significado, pero la estructura gramatical cambia. That is the, the change that it has. Do you want to try, please? Can you try the same sentence with any and no? La misma oración con las dos formas. Think about one, please. Angélica, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Entonces, no podemos utilizar, o sea, no podemos decir, she doesn't, doesn't have money, o she doesn't, no, ¿verdad? That Porque would sería, be another option. Mal. Usted puede decir, she doesn't have money, solo que si le pone any money, solo está especificando que es como que cero, que está diciendo el número. Como que si yo digo, I have a lot of money, okay? digo la cantidad. Pero si oh, yo digo, okay. I have, I don't have any money, especifico que mi cantidad es cero. Y si usted solo dice, I don't have money, solo dice que no tiene, no dice la cantidad. Pero es, es lo mismo prácticamente. Just another option. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, DJ. Gracias. So please try, traten de hacer la misma, okay? la misma, pero con las dos versiones, de any and no. Let me know when you're ready. You can read it or you can send it in the chat, okay? Thank you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. That's that's right. Who else is ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, Angelica, thank you. Anna, are you ready, Anna? Do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher, I... Okay. Uh, Can you read? Them? I write, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Kelia, how are you doing, Kelia? Questions, comments?
Hi, teacher. Quiero decir que ella tiene mucho dinero. Ah, but it has to be negative. Tiene que ser de, de algo que utilice any or no, Kelia. Con estos. With the ones here. One example using no and one example using okay. any, Kelia. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will wait one moment. Okay, we will wait one moment and then we will we will continue. Just going to wait for your classmates to send the examples. Okay, the questions. Uh-huh, just your cat, right? Or your dog, I don't remember. The cat. Cat, teacher, one cat. One cat. What is the name of the cat? Uh, the name is Toto. Toto, <laughs> okay. It's a good name. Thank you for the examples, Heidi. They are correct. And then Monica, uh-huh, Monica, Tati, thank you. Tati has no cats, Heidi. She does, doesn't have any cats. Have any. <laughs> Why not, Tati? You Mommy. don't like them. Oh, my dog, his name, Bon. Your dog, what is the name again? Bon, como cuerpo. Ah, okay, buddy. It's a good name. <laughs> Why did you choose she the name? Uh -huh. She likes dogs and you like cats. I have a, a necklace and it's like the paw of a cat. I don't know if you can see it. It's como la patita de un gato. Beautiful. Uh -huh. my, my two cats die and it has a photo of my cat or one of my cats. Los dos murieron y tienen como una foto dentro de uno de ellos. So it's like a memory of the, oh, the cat. <laughs> Thank you. Rel relicario en español. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Vane, the sentence is, is correct. I don't have any mouses. She has no cell phone. She doesn't have any cell phones, Lizette. It will be plural. You have to use the plural form. Ok, we will continue with the next activity. Vamos a continuar con una activity más. Si no han enviado su, su message, you can use the group. Okay, pueden usar el, el WhatsApp group. Y ahí la voy a, a leer. Ok, I have a, a document here. Let me, ok. This is the, it's a picture a screenshot that I sent. You have to use how many and how much. There are two parts, I those parts. Part number one, you read the paragraph and you use many or much, okay? Parte uno, van a leer el texto y van a escoger si necesita many or much, okay? That is part number one. For example, here. Okay, Angelica, can you read the, the part that is in red, please? Puede leer la parte que está en rojo, the part that is in red. Yes. Uh, Christine is a tennis player for France. She lives near Paris. She trains for... Okay, which word would you use? ¿Cuál usaría? Many or much? Hours. Mm. Many. many. She trains for many hours every day. Ajá. Thank you, Angelica. Vamos a usar many porque es hours, right? Okay, so you continue reading, guys, and you choose the appropriate word. Okay, continúa leyendo y escogen la palabra apropiada. Next, okay, next, you have to create the question. Y en la siguiente parte van a hacer una pregunta con how many or how much. De acá es una, pregunta number one. She trains for many hours. 
she trains for many hours. How much time does she train? Vamos a hacer la pregunta de la oración que respondimos. Okay. No sé si me estoy dando a entender. If you understand the activity or if you have a question. Is it clear? No sé si tienen una duda. Yes, teacher. You understand? Everyone? Yes. Todos. Okay. So that is what you have to do. We will work in groups of three. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Les envié eso ahí en, en WhatsApp. Y hay que leer, escoger el, el many or match, and then you have to make a question. And if you need me, I'll visit you. I will visit you. Okay, so let's see. There are 12 of you. So we will create four groups. Okay, just accept the, oh, sorry. Okay, please accept the invite. Hi, sorry to interrupt. I'm checking on you. Do you need help? Hazel, Bunny, or Angelica? Do you need some help? Eh, no, teacher. No. Ahorita estamos viendo compartir pantalla. Ah, y ya pudieron. O oh, si ¿sí saben cómo se hace. Yo todavía no lo he recibido en el WhatsApp. Si no, yo lo voy a compartir, Hazel. Solo que va a salir un poquito chiquitito. Vaya. Ah, yes, quiero, ¿eh? Let's see. Eh, no lo recibió. No. Es un mensaje que cayó a las 7.59. 7.59. Ah, sí, yo creí que era. Sí, ya lo tengo. Ahí está. <risa> ah, pues es lo ven. Ajá, pero si Hazel lo tiene, quizás le, les va a salir más grande si lo, lo comparte ella. Ajá, porque en el mío sale bien chiquitito. Uh -huh. Ajá. Hazel okay. ya, lo, ya lo descargó. Eh, sí, ahorita ya, ya lo descargué. Ya, ya se lo comparto. Ok, all right. Eh, Vane, Angélica, no sé si tienen alguna duda que les aclare antes que me vayan. Mm. Ah, teacher, yo tenía uh -huh. una, Ajá. pero era, eh, yo tenía una duda de, digamos, cuando nosotros ponemos como una frase, va, en este caso voy a usar los ejemplos que yo puse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. digamos, my cat has no food, uh -huh. ¿por qué, digamos, en, en esta parte utilizo el verbo has y, digamos, en el, en el otro cuando estoy diciendo lo mismo, cambio el verbo? Por la tercera persona. Ah. Porque, ajá, porque es tercera persona y es negativa. Es negativa, Angélica. Recuerde la, la regla de simple present. Está de que cuando es afirmativo vamos a usar la, el has, por ejemplo. Pero cuando es negativo hay que usar doesn't y el verbo vuelve a su forma base. No, no tiene ningún cambio. Entonces, ah, por okay. eso, eso es solo para terceras personas. Para terceras ah. personas. He, she, it. Ah. Ahí con todos los demás, 
No, no aplica esa, ah. esa regla. Okay. Mm, ok, o sea, también cuando el, eh, la oración se hace negativa es que el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Gracias, teacher. Es que yo lo hacía okay. así a lo... <risa> ah, pero lo hacía bien, ok. Ajá, okay. pero es que no, no me acordaba por qué lo hacía así. <risa> no, lo, no sabía, pero lo estaba haciendo bien. Ajá. Ajá, ok. Well, I'm going to let you hear to think about it. Les voy a dejar entonces que se concentren. Ok, and I will check. We will return in a moment. Si terminan antes, manden un message, please al grupo y me avisan que ya están, que ya están ready. Ok, okay. see you. Travel to many different countries. Hi guys, how are you doing? Do you need help? ¿Cómo vamos por acá? ¿Necesitan no. ayuda? ¿O...? Lo voy a mencionar um, no. los numeritos esos con más de eh, many, no hay que agregar más palabras, porque a veces siento que están quedando un poco extrañas. <risa> uh, give me an example, Amanda, como por ejemplo, ¿cuál siente que queda rara? Veamos. Um, déjeme ver, está como de en um, has, has many o Gold medals. So, es que la pregunta es si solo es con ha, con con match en many que vamos a rellenar. Ah, la cuatro mm. es en, vaya, por ejemplo, dice Rose is from England. He lives in a big house in London with his wife and many children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just many and match. Many and match. Uh -huh, okay. Y de ahí tiene que ver cómo sería la pregunta. Sacar la pregunta de ese statement. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso sería la second part. Okay. ¿En qué parte van ahorita? Terminando, many match. En, en el reading van ahorita, en la lectura. La, sí, en la siete. En la siete. Ah, ok, okay. Después right. falta la pregunta. Si no terminamos a tiempo, mañana vamos a completar la actividad, ¿ok? No, no problem. All right, guys. Eh, other questions before I go? No sé si hay alguna duda que quieran aclarar antes que me vaya. No. Ok. All right. See you. Y tren, o sea, tiene mucho tiempo, digamos, para esto, para, para entrenar. O si dijera, tiene una hora hubiese sido how many hours? Mm -hmm. Hi, how, hello. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, Eric. I'm just checking on you. Solo venía a visitarlos, a ver cómo iban. Do you need help? Uh, Or do you have doubts? ¿O tienen alguna duda? Yes, la, uh, la duda uh -huh. sería es how much is used uh, because time And how many is used uh, for hours. hours or days or, or yes. weeks? Uh -huh. yes? yes. Okay. How many hours? How much time? Mm -hmm. How many days? Okay. So, yes. Which, which part are you doing? Are you making the questions right now? Have you finished everything? Not yet. No. Ah, okay. No. Tomorrow we will check the answers because you still have to continue and, and we don't have a lot of time. Do you have more questions before I, I go to, to visit a different group? Do you have yes, a question? Yes, mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, cuando dice she drinks to Leaders, leaders. Ajá. Este, ya le está dando una unidad de medida. Ajá. Sería un litro. Ajá. Of orange juice, just a day and a day. it's, eh, eh, digamos, si, si usáramos two liters, sería how many, because mm -hmm. it's non contable. contable nouns. Y si, si dijéramos she drinks 
Eh, orange juice sería how much? Yes. Ajá. Ok. And, and it's, it's uh, apples much. a week. Apple. Uh, is is mm, uncountable noun. Uh, where, which one are you doing? This one. He usually and, eats. Uh, um, es, for, eh, for, for, digamos, por, dice, en el segundo digamos, paragraph, paragraph, he usually uh, eats 50 eggs. She drinks. The, next to, uh, uh -huh. she drinks two liters of orange juice. Uh -huh. So in that part, this, which one and are it, you using? Uh -huh. And eat much apples a week. You know, I'm checking here that contains the preposition of. Estoy viendo que está la palabra of. Entonces aquí iría a lot. Mm. A lot of meat. Porque con many or much no va off. Y aquí está off. Entonces vamos con a lot. Utilicen a lot. On that one. A lot of meat. Ok. Ajá. Uh, other questions, guys? Mm, not in no. this moment. Okay. Well, you still have like 60 seconds, okay? You can continue, but in one moment you will return there. Okay? See you in one moment. Hi, guys. Uh, if you didn't finish, don't worry, we will finish tomorrow in the class. Si no terminaron, okay. no hay problema. Mañana vamos a terminar en la clase. Okay, but for now, we, we have to go. Do you have any comment before I let you go? Okay, guys. So in that case, we continue tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.